New lapel video shows a man now facing federal charges unloading on Albuquerque police officers, shooting three in a busy coffee shop parking lot. We do want to warn you, the update we got from APD this afternoon does contain video that is graphic and hard to watch. Here's News 13's Brittany Bate. Well, Jess, APD's deputy commander tells us that James Ramirez fired 69 shots at four officers, hitting three of them. The shooting started in an alley where APD says Ramirez hid behind a hill and ambushed officers Mario Verbeck and James Eichel. This is Officer Eichel's point of view. <laughs> Officer Eichel was shot in the arm and while he does go down, video shows him get back up and soon get help from a police service aide. Officer Mario Verbeck was shot twice. He is not seen on video. Deputy Commander Kyle Hartsock said in that alley, Ramirez fired 32 bullets at officers. They returned fire 18 times, but Ramirez was not hit. Just two minutes later, video shows Officer Harry Gunderson and Sergeant Sean Kenny respond to the other side of the alley, which is the Dutch Bros parking lot on Juan Tabo and Lomas. Lapel video from Officer Gunderson shows Ramirez immediately start firing right next to the very busy drive through line. There, Hartstock says Ramirez fired another 37 times, badly damaging Gunderson's unit, sending shrapnel into his eyes. He also shot Kenny in his bulletproof vest and got close several other times. This is a photo of Sergeant Kenny's police unit. And as I told you, he was laying down near that rear tire, firing at Mr. Ramirez. Some of the rounds, Mr. Ramirez, as you can tell from here, he's aiming back at Sergeant Kenny strikes him at least once and is also deflating his tire and hitting the lower body part of the police unit. After about 10 minutes of gunfire, Ramirez finally goes down and is put in cuffs. He now faces several federal charges and will later face state charges. You'll remember this call started as a robbery and the other suspect involved has still not been identified. APD says Ramirez has not made any statement to investigators. If you see that suspect or recognize him, you are asked to call police. Jess. All right, thank you, Brittany. We also learned today that about six weeks after the shooting, Sergeant Kenny and Officer Gunderson are back at work but are no longer on patrol. Officers Eichel and Verbeck are still recovering from their injuries. It's not clear how long a full recovery could take.